Hi guys, how are you doing? So, what they really feel for you. We've got three today, the heart, the flower, the, I think it's like a flower, and a music note, so yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a uh, today's pick a card reading. I think I've just said it, but I can't remember what they really feel for you. So yeah, welcome to all of you, new or returning. I'm really grateful for you being here. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoy the readings. I upload every day. If you want a reading of your own, it's £20 for 20 minutes and you get your reading in 24 hours. Check the description box below. Let's get going. So we're going to start with the heart. Oh. So I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I can't remember. Right, so we've got watch your thoughts in reverse protection. Eight of swords, ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Okay. So what they really feel for you, they feel a lot for you. We've got the ten of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. They want to bring something tangible and physical towards you ten of what ten of coins they feel this sense of abundance they feel like they really feel so much for you and it feels very real it feels very tangible physical this person feels like even if they are not as a person their feelings for you are very grounded very they, there's a sense of loyalty and honor around it you may not feel that because they have maybe been a little erratic or they may have been um, difficult recently or maybe always. The, if they have been or you're what because the thing is probably if you're watching this it's because you don't really know how they feel about you or they're behaving in an unusual or difficult way or you're in separation of some sort. Okay, there's some sort of heart issue. OK, um, but in actual fact, they feel really brilliant towards you. you've got the 10 and the ace. It's like, you know, they're ready to move on and they want to start afresh and start a new beginning. And the ace of pentacles is like, I really want to offer you something. It's all really fantastic. So what's the problem? The problem is the eight of swords. They are totally either totally bound up in their thoughts in that they are either completely ego base so their mind it rules everything and that they are fearful or they are um they feel that they are largely fearful and this can manifest in many different ways so if you are not seeing this it's coming out of their fear okay so they really do feel this wonderful stable energy to you so you know you cannot do any more to show them or to express this to them because it the problem isn't that they don't feel this you know this desire for you or this desire to want to bring this new situation about they feel all this abundance around you and they want to start have a, a real beginning with you but the problem is is that you know this protection they feel vulnerable they don't feel protected and it's nothing you've done and it's nothing you can change because it's this eight of swords this is trapped in the prison of your own mind and we've got watch your thoughts in reverse stop listening to your thoughts stop watching your thoughts so the reality is those of you who've chosen hearts that they feel they feel everything you could hope for they feel for you and there is something real physical tangible they want to move forwards with you they do but they're so bound up in their thoughts so any issues that are going on are to do with their own fear, they're not to do with you. And this is the message the guides wanted to bring you today. So much love to you. I will see you either on a private reading or on tomorrow's reading. See you soon. I'm getting myself in the right pickle here. Right, okay. I can't remember which one was next. I think it's the flower. Guys, I can't remember which one was next, whether it was the flower or the music note. I'm really sorry if I've uh, got it the wrong way around. This is the flower. Hi, flowers. That sounds funny. <laughs> right, so we've got dream big, consult an expert, the empress. I saw that one come out, so I know it's the first one. I've got them the wrong way around. The magician, the eight of cups. So what they really feel for you 
if they are the masculine you could well be their female counterpart they may feel like a soul connection to you that they feel like you are their divine feminine because i feel like the empress can de definitely be that divine feminine if you understand what i mean by that divine feminine divine masculine um it can be like you know if you identify with a twin flame thing or whatever whatever it can be that you they feel you are their like queen their person if you don't want to if you don't know what i'm talking about with divine feminine masculine it doesn't matter there is this sense that you they see you as this beautiful um uh, queen like energy um the empress is also the divine mother this is someone who is really strong, really has those feminine qualities really balanced. Um, the only thing I would say with the feminine, you know, they feel this, they feel that you are this amazing, beautiful, balanced person, you know, all this positivity. The only thing I would say is with the Empress, intuitively i i just get this sense that there could be some concerns about whether you are maybe a bit high maintenance or that you're maybe a bit self-involved so just it's not for all of you maybe just a few of you um the other the other end of the spectrum it might be that some of you they feel oh you know what they really feel is that you are stunning amazing and all of that but that you're a little bit high maintenance or you know a bit self-involved a bit superficial um for some of you it might be that they think you're so amazing that they kind of put you on a bit of a pedestal pedestal if that makes sense and they kind of um they don't see themselves as good enough for you uh, they see you, you know, I think it's very much more likely to be the second for the majority of you. That your person's not really very confident. They see you as the magician, the empress. They see you as being able to manifest anything. They see you as, you know, really successful. Um, they might see you as quite balanced. They maybe see you that, that they might see some of you that you are kind of like you're able to kind of wrap them around your little finger you can get whatever you want that you are like the master at getting your own way maybe even you know they see you as being really quite powerful that's the key they see you as being quite powerful um from an in intuitive feel it, it's not so much the meaning of the eight of cups here i feel that the sense of energy around the eight of cups is a, is one of quite a feeling quite sort of the energy that i get with this card intuitively today is like this sense of feeling a bit defeated or feeling a little bit like a little bit broken um so it's like they see you as amazing but they see themselves as kind of you know broken or having a bit of a difficult time it is possible that your person has some sort of addiction or issue because the eight of cups can be linked with that and we have got consult an expert there's that the, your person is not i don't feel your person is in a great place they see you amazingly but they don't see themselves as measuring up you know they need to have more confidence we've got dream big let go of small thoughts about yourself see yourself succeeding you know and i do think they are looking to succeed because they are moving on from something um if they take this energetic vibe advice of consulting an expert then they will maybe be able to move on from this difficulty and then they will feel more in balance with you but at the minute their current they, what they really feel for you is that really you're kind of out of their league um and that in order to feel on a level with you in order to be able to feel that they could be a partner for you they really would need to kind of move on from this situation and dream big now for those of you who know your person really care about you or really love you then this is a really good motivation for them um because if they have got some sort of issue and they want to be with you you've maybe said to them you know what you need to sort yourself out you need to sort your life out in which case this is a real motivating factor for them um but the problem is with the addiction they have to want to do it for themselves and so 
um, because it's a, about small thoughts about themselves you know so even if it is an addiction the problem is that they need to kind of um, see themselves as worthy um, but in terms of how they see you and what they really feel for you they feel that you are magnificent they feel that you are powerful that you are beautiful and um, that you are um, uh, perhaps for some of you like I say they may see you as a little bit perhaps almost a little bit arrogant or <laughs> like you n really know how great you are but then again that's probably more of a reflection on how they feel about themselves that they don't feel worthy themselves so it kind of makes them feel a bit inferior and then they get a bit defensive so if you've had any like meanness or backlash from your person it's probably because of that that they feel inferior and that they are trying to like you know they may be not acting very maturely but that you may have found that some of your some of you may have found that your person has been a little bit mean almost and you're thinking well what's going on here well it's just because they don't feel worthy really and they're kind of almost trying to defend themselves if that makes sense so that's what the guides want you to know about how your person um what they really feel for you at the moment thank you so much flowers that sounds weird <laughs> i'll see you tomorrow or on a private reading in the meantime hi my beautiful music notes how are you doing right so we have got what they really feel for you you're being helped father healing the lovers six of swords king of wands that's the other way round. they're saying to me okay fine okay some of you gave your person a choice you know you've got to sort yourself out or move on or you know what i mean you you kind of maybe some of you maybe gave them like a an ultimatum or whatever um there's no doubt that you've got a double six here um, with the lovers and the six of swords and there's no doubt this person has feelings for you they care about you if if you've looked at this um romantically then they really love you in that way or they have the potential to really love you in that way there's this sense that um for those of you who resonate with like the whole different types of soul relationships of course this can indicate that twin flames soulmates high level soulmates all that i'm not really into all the labels but you know if you are fine you know that if you are you know this indicates that so that's cool there is this sense that this person really feels it for you so whether you've come to this um looking to see if how your child feels about you how your lover feels about you how your boss feels about you they feel good about you you know they feel whatever would be your sort of ideal they feel that way about you or they have the potential to feel that way about you you know they're moving on from something difficult you know so if your person has been in a difficult situation and you've been wondering are they still stuck there are they moving on from that yes they are moving on from that they are moving on from that and they are kind of embarking on something new some of your pe some of your people persons whatever will be maybe taking a trip they may have physically moved but they're kind of starting anew or they're moving towards starting anew there will be perhaps a period of healing indicated here father healing there may be, well be a period of healing but you know they're feeling really good about you and what is really helpful for you to know is that they're moving into healing which is really really good um you know because obviously they need that if they're able to to be able to access this they're also getting assistance somewhere which is really good too um that's going to mean different things to different people it may be assistance from other people or other situations um but for the majority of them it's that they're being helped energetically it says heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't um see results yet they are definitely moving on from something and it's all really good okay what they um what they really feel for you is the king of wands as well this is passion 
this is passion they feel passionately towards you um so not only is the love there but the passion's there as well and they're moving towards the passion so for those of you who are in separation or this person has not like you're not able to be together or whatever this person is moving on towards towards uh, passion for those of you uh, there's a few of you watching this who you are in some sort of relationship or you want some sort of relationship with this person but you are a distance apart um, and this person is coming to see you soon it's going to be hot 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 passionate 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 yeah and you are whoever your person is whatever the situa situation is your person is moving into a healing period which is why they're feeling the love and the passion because they're kind of coming back into balance and the universe is helping them to do that so much love to you notes music notes and i'll see you all either on a private reading or on tomorrow's reading see you soon